Hello everyone and welcome to our brand new series, The Sims 4 Dynasty. I have been looking forward to making this video and showing you guys this for a very long time. This video was actually, or the series was actually suggested to me by a viewer a pretty long time ago, like probably several months ago. And then my boyfriend Jake and I only recently started watching Dynasty on Netflix and we are obsessed. So I've been planning and just making all these backstories and characters for a pretty, not pretty, long time but like several several weeks it's just been like the only thing on my mind so those of you who are familiar with the dynasty series on netflix the characters aren't really the same but we do have similar situations that are happening so very much inspired by the netflix series if you guys enjoy a lot of drama if you guys enjoy seeing like how the rich live if you guys enjoy the dynasty series on netflix then i think you guys are really going to enjoy this series if you guys are not subscribed already don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications if you are so excited for this series and for this video give this video a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and play the sims 4 dynasty so our series is going to take place in san maishuno i did a poll on twitter asking if if we should do San Maishuno or if we should do Del Sol, where to go? Del Sol Valley. And I decided to do San Maishuno because Del Sol Valley is really meant for like actors and, and models and singers and all of that stuff. So since our family is very business oriented, our main family, they're business owners, they own a huge tech company. So I decided to do San Maishuno. Plus I liked the 64 by 64 lot that we ended up moving their house to. And I'll show you guys what I mean in a minute. So our main family is the Goldings. So I'm excited to introduce you guys to them. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna introduce you guys to them, show you guys their outfits, and then I will kind of, I might get to show you guys some of the other families, but we'll mostly focus on on that in the next episode. And then I will also get to show you guys their amazing house. So let's go ahead and start with showing you guys their family. Okay, so the first sim I'm going to show you guys is Harrison Golding. So he's the, he's the father, he is the husband, he's the kind of, not the main guy, but like things are kind of revolved around him here. So I'm gonna show you guys, or I'm gonna read you guys the background stories first, and then I'm gonna show you guys all of their outfits. So for the background stories, I am working on on either like a website or a Tumblr page that will have all of these character descriptions so you guys can see each of the characters in the series. I'm gonna try that to do that for my Royal series as well, but I'm gonna first start with the Dynasty series. So it's probably not gonna be up when I post this video, maybe a few days later, but I will let you guys know for sure when it is up. So let's start with the background story and the description for Harrison Golding first. So Harrison Golding grew up watching his father turn a small tech startup into a multi-million dollar company. He learned from the best and he was able to turn the company, Golding Solutions, into a multi-billion dollar company shortly after his father passed the business down to him. Now every office in the world uses their technology and the Goldings have quickly become the richest family in the country. Harrison Golding's first wife was Gwendolyn Golding. Harrison first met Gwendolyn at Golding Solutions when he was a teenager and his father was still running the company. Gwendolyn first started as a tech intern and her and Harrison became close friends. Things didn't start to get romantic between them until years later after Gwen became director of technology at Golding Solutions. They eventually got married and had twins, a boy and a girl named Alistair and Astrid. After 20 years of marriage, Gwen was diagnosed with brain cancer and died one year after being diagnosed. Harrison was heartbroken, but he had been preparing for Gwen's death since she was diagnosed. He mostly tried to focus on helping the kids through this hard time since they were both very close to their mother, especially Alistair. However, Harrison has never been able to connect well with his son. A month after Gwen's death, Harrison ran into his prep school sweetheart, Victoria Cleary. After their run-in, Harrison and Victoria started seeing each other more frequently and eventually started dating again. They were engaged only seven months after Alistair and Astrid's mother's death, and his kids did not take the news of their engagement well. It doesn't help that Victoria has a daughter named Harley who does not seem to get along well with Astrid. Harrison hates that he has ruined his relationship with his kids, but Victoria has made him so happy since they started seeing each other again and he is having trouble figuring out the best thing to do. So that is Harrison Golding's description. So I'm first going to do the descriptions for everyone and then I will show you guys their outfits after that. So I'm actually going to skip Victoria Cleary and Harley Cleary. Cleary, which is his fiance and his soon-to-be stepdaughter, because I want their backstories to kind of unravel through the series, maybe in the next or 
episode or two. So we're going to skip their background stories for now, but you guys will kind of get to figure out who they are based on the backstories of Astrid and Alistair and and Harrison. So this is Astrid Golding. So this is his daughter. So Astrid is 17 years old and her description is Astrid Golding's dream is to start and become the CEO of her own investing company. She has learned everything she needs to know about being a CEO from her father and grandfather and everything she needs to know about investing from her grandmother. The only thing slowing her down is high school. Her father made her promise that she would get her high school diploma from the best private school in the city and he would invest $5 million in her own company company as soon as she graduates. Astrid's ambition has caused her to have very little interest in romance, despite the fact that almost every boy who meets her falls head over heels for her. Even though she is the most popular girl in school, her only real friends are Melody Lavoisier and Alexis Ripley, both of whom come from wealthy and influential families and also whom she grew up with. Astrid's only other close relationships are with her twin brother Alistair and her father. However, her relationship with her father quickly changed when he introduced the family to his new fiancé and her social climbing daughter, Harley. Harley has made every effort to try and steal Astrid's friends and social connections, and Astrid is determined to get rid of her. So that is Astrid Golding. So the last description I will read for you guys is Alistair Golding, her twin brother. So obviously Alistair is also 17 because he's her twin. So Alistair Golding has felt so lost after his mother passed away less than a year ago. He feels like he can't confide in many people because he feels betrayed by his father for planning to get married so quickly. And his sister is too wrapped up in her future career to show much empathy. He knows his sister means well, but he knows his sister was never really close to their mother, not like Alistair anyway. Recently, Alistair has been hanging out more with fashion icon Lucien De Luca. Things have been getting more romantic between them, but Alistair knows that Lucien's history with partying and drugs is something to be cautious about, and his father would never approve. So those are the background stories of them, and then I do have the descriptions of like the families too that are on like the main world where you can see them all. So I am going to upload these families to the gallery. So my gallery name is The Real Mirror Ray, and I put that in the description below, and they you're going to need to check include custom content if you want to search for them so they will all be in the gallery it will be this whole family and if you guys want to you guys can play with them you guys can like change their outfits and add their hairstyles because you probably don't have the custom content that i'm using or not all of it anyway but my custom content is on my pinterest board most of it is on there i don't know if all of it is on there but i do get my custom content from the sims resource i will eventually try to link their like main dresses and suits and stuff if you guys have a specific outfit you want to know about that you can't find on my Pinterest board, you guys can put a comment below and I will try to send you the link to that if I can find it again. So yeah, so let me show you guys their outfits now. So we'll start with Harrison. So he is the business owner. He is a, a probably like a trillionaire too because he has just so much money. He's one of the wealthiest men in the world. So this, this is his everyday outfit, which I was actually like, I don't remember picking I remember actually picking this one for him specifically. I thought it was more of a business suit that I picked for him. I'm pretty sure it was, and I don't know exactly what happened to that. So this was actually the outfit I originally had for him. So I'm actually gonna keep this for his everyday outfit because it's very businessy and, and still like really nice. It's a nice suit, definitely a designer suit for sure. So then we also have his formal outfit. So this was one out of, I thought that was from the vintage pack, but I guess it's from the vampire pack. So I do wanna find more tuxes and stuff for them too, especially ones with like the tail coat. So I do need to find more for more custom content for them for that. But this is what I have for him for now. And then his athletic wear, some like really nice like uh, jacket and, and pants and all that. I thought it was really sleek and looked good on him. This is his robe, although I don't understand why there's a because like I don't know anyone who'd wear this out in public but I don't understand why there's like a tie and a nice shirt underneath but to me it looks like a really nice robe to go to bed in so that's what I picked for him this is his party outfit I love it I love the design and stuff on here so this one is custom content and then we also have his swimsuit nothing really special that comes with the base game his hot weather outfit again not that special and then his winter wear which was from the vampire pack too so harrison he his aspiration is to be fabulously wealthy and then he is ambitious he is family oriented and he is self assured. So he does care a lot about his family. He cares a lot about his daughter and his son. 
Um, although him and his son have never been really that close, his son was always much more close to his his ex-wife, his deceased spouse. So for him, but Astrid and him, they are have always been really close. Astrid wants to be like just like him, owning her own company and everything. So yeah, so that is his relationship and his outfits and everything. So next we have Victoria Cleary. So this is his current fiance. So this is her everyday outfit. And then I also have another everyday outfit pick for her. So this one is custom content. The other one came with the city living pack. And then I have her formal outfit. I have two of these. These are both custom content. It's very bedazzled and looks extremely expensive. So I thought it was perfect. It's very like monotone like black and white or like this one is silver but I thought it was gorgeous and perfect so this is her her athletic wear we've got a Calvin Klein sports bra which I thought was perfect and we also have her sleepwear which is nothing really special just a really nice sheer robe oh and then we have her party outfit so this was her party outfit which I thought was really pretty I love this actually like the detail and everything the back of this looks so cool so this one's custom content and then there's this one which I like a lot and I think it's a bold choice and I feel like just from watching the Dynasty series a lot of their outfits like formal outfits and stuff even are very bold but to me this kind of looks like a skunk's tail <laughs> but I don't know maybe that's what the designer was going for it's definitely all like designer clothes that they're wearing so I thought it was good and then this is her bathing suit it's very like pretty like with roses and it's elegant and she has a nice sun hat and then this is her hot weather outfit which I could probably change but I thought we would pick this for now and then I also have her winter outfit so this one's custom content but I love this jacket a lot I love the fur with it and I feel like they definitely would wear a lot of fur so this is Victoria Cleary her aspiration is to find her soulmate so she was married before but her husband had an affair so they got divorced and then shortly after that she met her old boyfriend from high school Harrison so then that's like her soulmate now so I think she strongly believes that Harrison has always been her soulmate and that her marrying her husband and him marrying his ex-wife was just kind of like a detour in their life and then we also have her other traits she's romantic she's a foodie and she's also family oriented so her and Harrison both get along in that aspect and they're similar in that aspect but I feel like they definitely would want to try to have another kid after being married for t for a bit so yeah so this is Victoria she's not like she's not a gold digger really I mean she's already known Harrison for when they were younger so she's not like the bad guy in this situation I feel like she's just kind of been stuck in this situation and really her daughter that is kind of the bad person in this family so next we'll go to to Astrid. So Astrid's my favorite, you guys. She's amazing. So I love her outfit so, so much too. So these are, this is her everyday outfit or one of them. So she has this gorgeous fur pink jacket with like a crop top underneath and then a Gucci skirt. So it's like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is perfect. And then she's got these nice strappy heels with it. And then this one is really cute too. This is her other everyday outfit. I thought it was kind of like an 80s, like go-go style dress and everything, but I always I also thought it was a really bold choice. Plus it matched perfectly with the headband that came with the custom content hair. So I am in love with this outfit too. And then we have our formal outfit. So this one is gorgeous. It's this gold, gorgeous dress. And I thought these earrings match perfectly because the bottom of the dress turns blue. I don't know if these are supposed to be feathers. I feel like probably not, but I, guys, this is amazing. This is one of my favorite dresses so far. And then I also have this one too. So this one's a little bit more, I don't know if it's a little bit more conservative really, but like, it, you know, covers more, but it's really sparkly, got a ton of gemstones on it. And then also has that back to the line in the back that comes with it. So this is her other formal outfit, her athletic outfit. She's got an Adidas uh, athletic suit on with like some pink sneakers to go with it. And then she also has her this like really nice silk robe. This is her sleepwear. Does she have two? I, oh yeah. Okay. So this is her other sleepwear. So just in case she's feeling a little frisky or something. So this was her other one. And then we have her party wear. So for this one, changed her hairstyle completely for this one. So strained it put it up kind of like an Ariana Grande hairstyle and then I love these shoes that go with her outfit too and this is her other party outfit so this one's for something it this could totally go into her formal outfits too but 
sometimes when the dress code is party and I still want her to look like very formal and stuff. But this one is also amazing. It's custom content too. And this one comes in a few different colors, but I thought, oh gosh, guys, it's beautiful. I love this so, so much. So yeah, so these are, that's her party outfits. And then we have her swimwear. I thought this was a very bold swimsuit. Would definitely leave some wear tan lines, but she might not care about that. And then she's got these designer sunglasses on and then this sun hat too, which is actually, I think the same sun hat as her future stepmother, Victoria, but you know, it could be different. We can pretend that it's different. Is it, there's one that comes with a line, but I think I like the all white one a little bit better. So I think I'm gonna keep that. But then we have her hot weather outfit. So this one, oh my gosh, guys, I love this. So it's got the sunglasses like at the top of her head. And then she has these gorgeous like flower earrings. This one's coming into her other, into her hair a little bit, but I still think it's really cute. And then this really cute dress that has like the slit up the side. And then these gorgeous hot pink heels to match it too. So that's her hot weather outfit and then her so this one's a little bit bold and this is different but this is like a alligator skin jacket so it's keeping her very warm it has these like I don't know, tassel -y fringe things on the arms. So this is definitely different and probably not what you would expect because a lot of her outfits are very preppy, but I feel like, I mean, she's got the money to be bold. She is definitely very popular. She's one of the most popular girl in school, but also because she's basically like a superstar because of her father and also because of her bold fashion choices. So she's pretty much a fashion icon in the city too. So she's very well known. So that's Astrid's outfits. These are like some of my favorite outfits. So I hope you guys like these too. And then, so guys, so this is Harley Cleary. So she for sure is, she's, oh, I'm sorry. I did not go over Astrid's um, ambitions and, or not ambitions, her aspirations. So she also wants to be fabulously wealthy. Basically to me, that's like owning your own company, being the CEO of it and making it extremely successful, just like her father's. She's an insider and she's also a, a huge snob. And then she's also ambitious, but I'm gonna add that for whenever she becomes a young adult. So yeah, so that's Astrid's traits. And then we have Harley Cleary so for Harley's outfit so you guys will find a little bit more about their backstory later but basically they were they're like they come from a wealthy family but not definitely not even close to as wealthy as the Goldings so for Harley so this is her outfit and I feel like a lot of her wardrobe has changed since they've moved into the Golding Mansion because they before it was like probably I don't know she might have dressed like this she's definitely much more into boys than Astrid is. She just wants to climb the social ladder and she feels like she can do that now that her mother is marrying Harrison Golding. So this is one of her everyday outfits. And then this, oh, no, where'd it go? This one is the other one. So this one was a little bit different and I was still kind of unsure about it. Like if the skirt went with the blouse, but I kind of thought it did, but I really do like the blouse. I definitely think it's something she would wear. The skirt I was a little iffy about. I honestly mm, would probably change it to something like, she would probably wear a Gucci skirt if she could, if she could afford it, but I don't, I don't quite know if they would be buying that stuff yet. I, uh, yeah, for her, I was kind of thinking of change. Ooh, does that work better? Um, I think I like this better, to be honest. I think I'm gonna keep it as this. Plus she's like a teenager. I feel like she'd wear a mini skirt. So we're gonna keep this for her. And then the boots too. The boots were really cool and have this embellishment too at the bottom of it. So then we have her formal out. Oh no, that's her athletic outfit. So yeah, we have her formal outfit. So this one was interesting and very bold with the green. I feel like green might be one of her favorite colors. And then it has like these in, incredible like jewelry, like these gemstones with it. Although this one doesn't match as much as I thought it did, but it matches the gold for sure. So this is her, was one of her formal dresses. And then her other formal dress is this one. So this one's pretty cool too. It's kind of like geometric. And then it has like the really big slit, but then she paired it with some like auburn shoes that kind of matches her hair, which I thought was pretty cool. So I kind of think though with the lipstick, I don't think it needs to be that dark. I feel like we could probably do something just like a little bit lighter like this or something. Yeah, I think, or maybe like something more red to match like her shoes and her hair. I actually like this a lot better. And then with the eyeliner, the eyeliner seems not gonna lie a bit thick. I don't know which eyeliner this is, but maybe it doesn't need to be that thick. I think it's actually like the eyelashes. Does she have, oh, she doesn't have, oh no, it's her, it's her, uh, 
whatchamajigger, it was her eyeshadow that was making it look so, so thick. So I was gonna add some eyelashes to her because I think she would have a lot. So, yep, all right. So the this, uh, sorry, this is her other formal outfit. And we have uh, her uh, athletic outfit. So this is a Calvin Klein sweatpants with a Tommy Hilfiger top. And I feel like Astrid is kind of like, making like would make fun of her when she sees this like you're supposed to match it a little bit like she thinks her by the fact by her wearing two designer like to a top and a bottom with two different designers i feel like she that astrid would think like like she would probably like scoff at that i feel like just because she thinks like she's just trying to show off by like wearing two designers and it doesn't even match very well or something like that so yeah so that is her athletic wear her sleepwear is just this cute little pink nightgown her party outfits so this is one so i thought this was perfect and the shoes like kind of match her hair a little bit too so this is one of her party outfits it's very sparkly and then it's kind of transparent here at the top and then we have her other party outfits this one's cool this has like this sheer skirt but you can see that it's basically like a leotard underneath and then she's got her hair up and then like the shoes are pr actually purple underneath but you can't really see because it's hidden by the skirt but i just thought this was really cool so that's her other party outfit and then we have her swimwear so this one is actually is very interesting. And I was like debating giving this to her because I feel like this would actually be something Astrid would wear. But I feel like Harley had gotten her hands on this swimsuit that Astrid probably actually wanted. And then Astrid's probably like kind of irritated about it. So she also has some designer sunglasses with that as well. And then for her hot weather outfit, she's got this romper with the sunglasses and these cute adorable heels with the bows. And then for her winter outfit, it's this nice custom content dress with the, or not dress, jacket with these uh, thigh-high boots too. So yeah, so that is Harley. Her aspiration is to be fabulously wealthy. It should have probably been like Mansion Bear or something like that because just because like uh, Harrison and Astrid, their aspiration is also fabulously wealthy, but she just wants... She just wants to, I actually, maybe should I give her this one, the fortune hunter, the gold digger? Gold digger is defined as a sim who forms relationships purely to obtain money or gifts. Okay, you know what, that's it. That's totally her. Because I was kind of thinking gold digger was just for like finding a boyfriend who has a lot of money, but if every relationship is like th with like friendships and all that would be to make money, I feel like that's totally for her because that's all the connections she's trying to make. So this is actually a uh, mod, which I'm pretty sure you can just find on the Sims resource or mod the Sims or something like that. Um, but then her other traits, so she's romantic. So she tries to romance a lot of boys just because one, she does like boys a lot. She's kind of boy crazy, but then she also like is trying to climb the social ladder. So she's boy crazy for the boys who one have money and then also come from really prestigious families too. And then her other trait is that she's self-absorbed. So she's a little bit obsessed with herself. So that is Harley. And then last we have Alistair Golding. So Alistair, so this is his outfit. I love this. It's a custom content suit. And I think it just goes so perfectly. And I like this little infinity sign on the tie too. So this is his everyday suit. And then his formal suit is this white one. I do want more custom content ones because I feel like the suits could have like a little bit more of a design on on it. I actually thought this one was pretty cool too. It is very bold and even though he is gay, he is not as like like uh, bold with his fashion choices and stuff, but the guy that he's uh, kind of on and off with, Lucian DeLuca, he is the fashion icon and he is very bold with his choices. So yeah, Alistair's not as bold just because like with his family, they still have to keep a specific like image and all of that. So he doesn't go too bold with his fashion choices. And then for his athletic wear, so this is athletic wear, nothing really special. And then we have his sleep wear, again, nothing special. And then we have his party outfit. I could probably pick another party outfit for him too, but I thought this went very well. I feel like he's very drawn to like pale and uh, what's it called? Oh, like pastel colors and like the white suits. I feel like that is kind of his his style that he goes with. So this is his party outfit. And then we have his swimsuit and then his hot weather outfit too. So these like uh, this really nice, I guess, I don't know if it's floral. Or I don't think it's paisley, but the shorts that come with one of the game. I don't remember which. Oh, it comes with the romantic garden pack. So yeah, so that is his ev or his uh, hot weather outfit and then his cold outfit. Oh, I did not even realize that I did that. It's the same pattern as his 
shorts than the other one. I might change that actually. I think we're gonna go with this one or maybe we should go with the, no. Yeah, I think we'll just go with this one for his, uh, for his cold weather outfit. So yeah, so that's Alistair and his outfits. He actually, I had that he wants to be a master chef. I was actually debating that because I feel like he doesn't actually really know what he wants to do. You know what? I think I am going to change his, um, his aspiration either to soulmate or maybe to friend of the world because I feel like he's he's a good, yeah, I think we're gonna do friend of the world because he's just like a good sim in general. Like that's actually one of his traits. So I think that he's good and he's also an insider just because of his family connections too. So, uh, although I don't know why he's keeping the trait of essence of flavor when we change it to friend of the world. I think that might be a glitch, um, but I feel like he does really like food too. He's a foodie. He also loves art and music and all of that too. So he's just very cultured, especially with living in the city too. He, they're just very cultured. So that is our main family, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and we can go and show you guys their, their golden mansion. So for the mansion, so this is where it is. So it is where I think the San Maishuno Meadows was. So I had to use a mod to actually change the lot type and because it wouldn't let you change the lot type from the Maishuno Meadows so I had to change it to residential by using a mod so in case you guys were wondering you guys have to use a mod for that but uh it looks so good where it is and it's like the only like there's there's kind of other houses too, but this is like the only really like big estate. So they have like a lot of land, but it's also in the city, which you know, one costs so much money to even like get a place in the city. And then also the fact that it's this amazing, gorgeous estate and it's beautiful and it's like millions of dollars. So I'm so excited for you guys to see this house. Okay, you guys, so this is Golding Estate. And would you look at this view too of the city? It's like right on the lake. So like everyone in the city can see Golding Estate. It's like this palace that everyone knows of. And this is why I chose to bring the palace or put the palace and the game in San Maishuno because the other venue or the other, the, yeah, the lot in the Delso Valley world, it didn't have this like cool little wall thing. So like, this is like a structure, like a wall and stuff built specifically for my Shuno Meadows. So I just thought it made it look even cooler and like really gated off and stuff. So this, I know this probably shouldn't have been so important to me, but it just looked so cool with it that I was like, I have to put the house here. So I might have them, they'll probably have other properties in Del Sol Valley and other worlds too. So we'll probably like maybe for a storyline, they might end up switching over to like their house in, in another world or something. But it's kind of interesting too, because this was a park. So there's like food vendors like right out here. So that's kind of funny. But um, so yeah, this is Golding Estate. So the original house, let me go into my gallery so I can show you guys where this one originally came from. So the original build is, let's see where to go, is Schloss Belvedere 64 by 64. This is in the gallery. So it is originally made by Miss Headroom and I can put the link to this in the description below as well. But this was the original house. So I changed the roof color is like pretty much the biggest thing. And like the front of the mansion was also changed a bit. And then I have changed some of the rooms inside as well. So I'll show you guys. And a lot of it is still going to change because like the, some of the rooms, I just, I need to change it, but that will like happen over time. But I'll show you guys what we have first. So we can start with here. So this is the main floor. So on the main floor, we have the foyer up here and then right here also. So we have his father and mother's Harrison's father and mother's urn. So this is his father, Winston Golding, and that's what he looked like. That was his portrait. And then we also have his mother, Wendy Inari Golding. So that was his mother. And that's a portrait of her as well. And I kind of copied this idea from my Royal Family series because I like having portraits of the past sims just because it like just really shows you what like they looked like and you can like refer back to it and stuff so it just it's very helpful so i decided to do that so this is their main entrance and here we also have like a little keg room or, or wine storage cellar sort of thing and then we have their dining area and kitchen and then we also here so i'm probably gonna get rid of this it's like a like a woodworking room so there's like a little woodworking station thing and then one of these medicine crafting 
things. I might turn this into like an art room or another living area or something. I'm probably not going to be able to show you guys like all of the rooms because there's so many of them. But you see here, there's like a little living area and then another room with a table. I'm probably going to make those into different rooms because we don't need multiple rooms with dining tables and like, I mean like bathrooms I understand, but yeah, you don't need multiple rooms with dining tables. So I just don't think it's necessary. So I'll probably change that a bit. Here we have probably where all their parties will be held. I'll probably change the color scheme of this because it seems a little dark to me, but we have a dance floor and a bar and like a place where they can eat and stuff too. So then the second level here we have uh, so the, the entrance would come up here on the stairs. And then if you see right here, we have a study. So this is Harrison's study. And then we also have a restroom here. And then this is Harrison and Victoria's bedroom. So it's very Vic vintage glamour. I think that's the stuff back where everything came from. So very vintage glamour. And then um, this was going to be turned into a office as well. Just a mini office right there. So we have a bedroom here. So I need to change this because I haven't really assigned the bedrooms to any of the other kids yet. Plus, I think some of them are a little small and could probably be opened up. So this is a bedroom. This is a, a kid's room, it looks like, although we don't have any kids and we probably won't have any kids for a while unless Harrison and Victoria were to have kids. Um, and there's a bathroom right here. And and this will probably be turned into a bedroom because it's a very empty office and I don't like it very much. Um, this was one of the bedrooms that I did work on. It looked like it, the bed was kind of like in the wall a little bit, but this is one of the bedrooms. This is mostly custom content. So this is a custom content bed and a custom content rug. Actually, that might be it. So not mostly custom content, but it does look really nice still. And then this also looks like a kid's bedroom, which I'll probably change. And then on this level, it looks like it's like ready for a wedding. Like I don't see a wedding arch or anything, but it looks exactly exactly like a wedding reception or something. So I feel like they could host, they're not pol politicians, but I feel like maybe they would definitely do like charity events because in the Dynasty series, they have like a huge charity ball to benefit one of the local charities in the area. So they, I feel like that would all probably be held up here. And then we have a little game room with the chess table and the don't, don't wake the llama game too. Um, there's nothing up here on this level. It's probably like waiting for something to be added. So maybe we'll do that later on. And then, so we have the basement here. So there's actually a pool, a pool in the basement, which I thought was very interesting. But like a whole spa is down here, you guys. So this is very cool. We have like the restrooms are here. We have a little yoga mat here, which is I think very important for like Astrid and probably Alistair too. Um, just like the spa area. And I feel like their mother might've used this a lot too. So then here we do have a wine cellar. And then we also have another little reception area. So this one actually does have a wedding arch. So if someone wanted to get married, they could here. But I feel like if they were gonna get married, I feel like it should be in the like outdoors in the gardens. But I feel like this could be like the wedding area they were probably getting ready for Victoria and, Harris and, and Harrison's wedding. So this might end up actually being where they get married. It's actually really nice. Just like the setup of everything is really cool. And then on the bottom floor we have here, we have like just two bedrooms. So I feel like this will be for the butler because they are going to hire a butler, um, which uh, to me, once we're, it's like very new hire, but I feel like in our story, the butler is going to have been here for a while. So yeah, it's probably a Butler that had grown up with Harrison and see him grow up and all of that stuff too. So you guys, so this is our intro to our Dynasty series. This series is going to be very like the storylines pretty much already set. So in my like royal series, like I kind of like play along with what happens and like especially like take your suggestions into consideration. And I can still take your suggestions into consideration for this story too. But I kind of already have like a storyline set of like things that are going to happen, especially in the beginning. So it is basically like a Sims 4 TV show, if you want to put it like that. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am to start this and to continue it. Let me know what you guys think of the house and the family. And in the next episode, I am going to introduce you guys to the other very wealthy and influential families in the city. And then you guys will see how they're related to our main family, the Goldings. And then Victoria and Harrison's wedding is probably going to be in the next episode too. They are planning for their wedding to come up but of course Astrid and Alistair are probably trying to sabotage that little a little bit so we'll kind of see what happens with that but I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you did and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications so you know when we're posting a new video of our dynasty series if you ever want to see my episode schedule you can follow me on twitter at Mira Ray underscore and that is in the description below as well and I hope you guys enjoy this I'm so excited to do this series with you guys and for you to see everything 
and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!